I came to the United States in 1994. Occasionally I'd get homesick. One of the things I missed the most was quality television because uh, there wasn't a lot of it uh, over here, to be honest. Most of it was just dreadful, formulate comedies and, and people would send me what I loosely called care packages. I got myself a PAL TV set up so that I could watch UK VHS tapes. One of the tapes that was sent to me included this TV show, uh, The Trial of Margaret Thatcher. I believe this program lasted something like at least an hour, if not an hour and a half. So I watched the whole thing, all the debates, and this is exactly as the tape came to me. And you'll uh, see what wonderful payoff I get at the end. We have heard the case for and against Margaret Thatcher, but before our audience decides, we hear a brief closing statement. First, B. Campbell for the prosecution. The case against Margaret Thatcher is palpably proven. Her first speech as Prime Minister promised harmony and hope. And what she gave us was a war. She went to war against the majority of the people, the neighbours, the pupils, the students, the workers, the people, us. She regarded us as the enemy within. Thatcher and Thatcherism was never about a unified, healed society. It was always really about the thing that she really wanted. Power. Having it, holding it, prizing it. She adored it. She flourished when she had it. Paradoxically, Margaret Thatcher appeared strangely and suddenly most human the moment she lost it. Bruce Anderson, your closing statement for the defence, please. She came from a grocer's shop and there she learned her values. She knew that individuals could only thrive out of hard work and that the same was true of nations. That was her great legacy to the British people. That's why every social group in this country got richer during the 1980s. That was why we had the best record of job creation in the whole of Europe. That was why she had a set of policies, Thatcherism, that are now followed throughout the civilized world and beyond. And that concept, Blairism, is just an illegitimate son of Thatcherism. It's, it's, uh, it's Thatcher, Thatcherism with some new spin doctor. She was never all that good at being spun. She was too sincere. And finally, what she did, what she did finally, she put the great back into Great Britain. So now, members of the jury, our audience of 250, drawn from across the country, it is time for you to reach your verdict. A fascinating moment. Tonight, Margaret Thatcher is charged with betraying the British people by promoting greed over compassion, the haves over the have-nots, leaving a country divided. Now, if you are convinced that she is guilty, I shall be asking you to vote yes. If you regard the verdict as not proven beyond reasonable doubt, you have to acquit her. So, members of the jury, what is your verdict on Margaret Thatcher? Please vote yes or no now. All the votes appear to be in, so on the 20th anniversary of Mrs. Thatcher's election to power, the people have delivered their verdict. Margaret Thatcher. Visions of life in tomorrow's world. Tonight, the craft of... Not that I don't like tomorrow's world, but uh, you can imagine I was most annoyed. And in case you're wondering, it wasn't until recently that... Uh, in fact, it wasn't until I was putting this, this video together that I looked up the uh, the results and uh, it turned out that she indeed was found guilty 57 to 43 percent so there you have it